Hello everybody, um, we have a little extra for you. We are going to go over all of the past captains of the USS Ishimura. This is Kaede Shmogugi. She comes from Taiwan and she has funny butterflies in her hair. And she enjoys uh, long walks on the sun. Yes. She uses her sun shoes and she carries a parasol. Usually it gets burned, but, you know, it's a special space parasol. And she has x-ray vision, which is horrifying. Yes. Alright, the next one is Dreadlock McDaniels. And um, he is actually the older brother of Kendra Daniels, but he's not an asshole. Yes. Uh, he has nice dreads. He was born in San Juan, but then he moved to Jamaica. And due, due to his spiritual... Due to his spiritual enlightenment of the Bahamas, he became a Jamaican and he grew dreadlocks. Right. So, and he has a nice little beard right there. Next is uh, Halberd Bronson. He hails from Earth, uh, the and uh, comes from Russia. There we go. Comes from Russia, and uh, as a child, he was a rambunctious little scamp. He was trained in the art of bear wrestling. Yes. He drank a lot of soda. Yes. And he moved to the United States when he was age 15 and enjoyed uh, playing tricks on little orphans. And his role model is Soda Popinski from Punch Out. Alright, next is Satoru Iwata. <laughs> this, is, this is him in the future. He lives. Very long time, you get some facial. Very long a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Nintendo or 3DS. I play it in, in my spare time. <laughs> and but, uh, so, I write so, to a play a uh, Nintendo 3DS without a um, uh, 3D glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have to say anything else about him. <laughs> Alright, this is... Our favorite captain. This is our favorite captain, uh, Shahim Mah Ma Maloud. <laughs> Shahim <laughs> Maloud. And he works at the near nearby shop, right? Or at least he did. But then he went into stasis for a few hundred years, uh, and now here he is on the USG Ishimura. And uh, he has a very nice turban. And his only flaw is that he was friends with M. Night Shyamalama Dingo. Yes. Only flaw. But he murdered him later on, right. so it all He realized his mistake. Yeah. And right here, we have what was the current captain, uh, Benjamin Matthias. He enjoyed recreationally sticking needles into his eyes, but one day when Dr. Kine was helping him out with his lovely hobby, he went a little bit too far and stuck it into his brain, you know. It happens. He enjoyed playing chess in his spare time. He, uh, he enjoyed... Uh, his he, widow's peak, he would often uh, just stroke it back, and he would look through chopped up closet doors and say, Here's Johnny! He liked yes. looking... He, he could never look at the camera, he just kind of looked off to the side all the time. Just because of the children. Just because of the children, who the were children. always making fun of him and flipping him the bird. Well, he would later on become known to uh, shoot the children out of the airlock into Aegis 7. He was that kind of a guy. Yes. It was actually Only because kind of he lost to them in chess. Yeah. The children always beat him. Yeah, he can beat the worldwide best chess masters, but those kids always get him. Yes. So that's that's all the captains of the USG Ishimura. Um, and that's all we have to say. So thank you. Thank you. Good for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your dedicated watchiness of our videos, which are rather silly and kind of wacky. Yes. Always. We shall, we shall leave you with a single message. Do not trim your beard hairs. They will come back to kill you. Yes. The soup. The soup. The soup! The soup! Your beard will always hate people. And, and it will always, always get in the way of eating soup. Yes. Soup! Soup!